The newest subvariant of COVID-19 is BA5. Experts say it may be more easily spread, but has not been as severe as the original coronavirus. But the cases here and even across the country are still increasing. And KTAB's Miriam Chamberlain found local companies who say they've seen an uptick in clients in just the past few weeks. And they're now asking the public to continue safe practices. Attending to more patients at home. That's what one Abilene nurse practitioner, Clay Losey, does every day with his big country mobile med service. I have just a heart for treating people when they're really sick and when they need me the most. Losey says he aims to support his clients' bodies with fluids and vitamins, zinc in particular. And also help them get some energy back to where they can recover from the fatigue that COVID is known for. And with the Omicron variant on the rise, he's offering what he calls Clay's Cocktail which is a multivitamin infusion. Some people respond very, very well to those IVs and some of them don't, and it just takes time to get over COVID. But COVID-19 is not the only virus currently being seen. We've had some strep and some staph infection, and so you just kind of mix it in and uh, you just get a little bit of everything. Jonathan Spencer, owner of professional disinfect service company Germ Killer, says that just within the last week, they've seen a 20% increase in clientele. We give you that extra protection, the extra insurance, but at the end of the day, you guys still have to clean. Letting people know that his services are not just one stop and extra precautions are still necessary. So I have to you know, cover your mouth when you sneeze or cough. Uh, you still have to um, just do the things in your control to mitigate the spread. And as the COVID-19 Omicron variant continues changing and causing cases to climb, both Losey and Spencer say it's up to us to help reduce the increased numbers we're currently seeing. In Abilene, what coverage you can count on? Miriam Chamberlain, KTAB News. Thank you, Miriam. Hendrick Health has increased its safety dial now to level three, high risk, and we expect to hear from Hendrick tomorrow with an update on COVID-19 hospitalizations and ICU admissions.